my name is Sue Wei. In this series, we're going out to Polytechnics and ITE for a skills challenge. Across six different industries, we're pitting a world-class level youth against a current student to see how well they fare in seemingly easy and straightforward tasks specially selected by our experts. Let's get started! Hello, Mr. Lim Pogi. Hello, nice hi. to meet you. Hi, good to My see name you. is Sue Wei. I'm Pogi. And he's a senior lecturer here at School of Engineering. Over 35 years of experience in aviation and spent the last six years teaching here in NYP. So this is what we will learn if I come and enroll myself in Nanyang Poly to learn about small components to big components, so how it works. Yes, you will learn about aircraft systems, the aircraft structural repair, we learn about the landing gears, flight controls, everything. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot to learn. In mm. fact, I think it's time to bring on the students who are doing all the learning. So we're going to bring on Wei Ting and Simon from NYP. Yes. Hello guys, Hello. welcome. Hello. Nice to see you. So, Wei Ting over there is a contestant in the World Skills International Competition. He went all the way to Abu Dhabi and did really, really well. Yes. And on my left, we have got Simon, a current Year 3 student, yes. pursuing his Diploma in Aeronautic and Aerospace Technology. So, two of you are going to be the contestants for our Skills Challenge here today. So, Pogi, we're ready for challenge number one. Yes. Let's get on with the challenge. So, this challenge is about aircraft removal and installment. And we're looking at this part right now that simulates what it is on the actual plane. Yes, that's right. Can you tell me more about what you're going to do for this challenge? This trainer uh, simulates the actual aircraft environment whereby the student will have to remove access panel to inspect, to remove and to reinstall back aircraft components in a difficult, accessible uh, condition. Okay, so what we're seeing right now is actually a simulation of what it is on an actual plane. Yes, that's right. Okay, so Pogi, can you tell me what part is this on the airplane? Uh, this is a simulation for removal of aircraft computers from the aircraft. Yeah. So there are a lot of things to think about. Number one, you need to have the knowledge, mm. right? Of what is safe, what mm. is the part that you need to be removing and what are the steps involved. Uh, number two, you need to also be wary of your environment. So mm. no one needs to be like powering up things that shouldn't be powered up while you're doing this. And at the same time, number three, you yourself need to know that you are properly equipped. Correct. See, notice uh, even while removing him, make sure that no foreign object, we call it uh, wires that has been cut out, uh, left in the aircraft. <sighs> okay, this is like artisanal work, you know. They say like, oh, it's all craftsmanship and using your hand. I would say, you know, looking at how you maintain the aircraft, is a lot of handy work. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was mostly machines. <laughs> uh, it's interesting for aircraft engineers and technicians who, who love to do and work with their hands. It is a wonderful career. They get to work and receive a lot of satisfaction to see that the system works and the aircraft is flying off safely to the next destination. It's very satisfying. So the most painstaking part, the most difficult part of this challenge, what is it? Skills-wise, the final part is the wire locking. It is a bit difficult. The accessibility is very difficult. Oh. In terms of knowledge, he must make sure that the component is safe for him to remove. That means to say he has to depressurize the system, he has to remove the electrical power. Wow, so you need to have knowledge to use the equipment, the right equipment for the right job. Yeah, you also need to know how much, where to find every part, every bolt and nuts, every seal that goes into the aircraft parts, uh, original uh, equipment, uh, original spares, and they must be certified and released in every step of the way before it is being placed back onto the aircraft. After graduation, after getting a license, yeah. every two years we must go back for recurrent training. Every two years? Every two years. Wow. Uh, Sometimes we call it continuation training. This okay. is a civil aviation requirement. We need to be updated, we need to be aware. So it's a journey of lifelong learning yes. where you continuously have to learn new skills, yes, yes. be updated with what's going on. All right, yes, yes. There are many opportunities for them to pursue this uh, passion. The possibilities are endless. Mm, yes. So besides just class time, where you learn about how to do this step by step, how much time do they need on their own to practice to make sure that they are efficient with their energy? They start off with simple end skills, from wire locking to in removing and installing certain parts, knowing how to install parts uh, in a systematic manner and to be careful with it. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are more things for him to learn when he actually steps out into the working world. Task 
number one is completed and I must say it was very fascinating to see you guys in action bending over, doing the wiring work. Let's get on with task number two right now. This is our second task and what's going to happen for this one? The two students will be uh, fabricating a sheet metal bracket. It is typical of uh, aircraft structures whereby they are building a U-shaped bracket mm -hmm. and an L-shaped bracket for the structure. It is found on the fuselage, the body of the aircraft, the wings of the aircraft. Practically every structural members have uh, sheet metals and uh, brackets to reinforce the fuselage. Yes. So whatever they are looking at right now, we're looking at the beautified version of an airplane, is it? Yeah, what most passengers see are cosmetic panels, interiors of the cabin. Mm. I actually thought all these parts would just be printed by a machine. It's very hard to print. Uh, Airbus A380 is huge <laughs> and uh, some parts may be damaged, certain areas, so you need to study the damage and come up with a repair scheme. Okay, yeah. so that's what they're embarking on for yes, this challenge. They are, they are doing uh, drawing to make sure that uh, the band radius, the dimensions are all correct. This is uh, the end result. So we have a U-shaped bracket. Oh, this is a U, okay. Yeah, and they have a L bracket here. Okay. They will have to drill some holes and some reverts for them to form. Okay, and uh, Simon's about to do further drilling. Mm. Step away a little bit. Yes, he's drilling two pieces together, very smart. That will speed up his process. He's drilling okay. two together. And so waiting is? Doing the second piece, it's his U-shape. So this is untrained eye looking at a metal sheet, but with the highly trained professionals, you'll be able to see the details in the metal fabrication, am I right? Yes, yes. Ooh. So they're pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe with one another in terms yes. of completing the challenge and I think everything is exactly like what you say. It's precise, it's neat and this is the fun part, right? Yeah, this is the noisy part. We're going to have a lot of earthquake going on here at Nanyang Poly. Okay, Simon has done the U-shape, mm -hmm. he's done the bracket. Mm -hmm. He has the three reverts fitted to it. So it's completed. Yes. I think I'm gonna also have a go. Oh, okay. So it's very safe to handle. Yes, yes. Alright. Very nicely done. Smooth and curved at the side. Okay, shall we have a look at waiting? Uh, oh. Very good finishing for his river. Even the corners are very nicely reduced. Wow. And I must say they are highly trained professionals because they're very neat. As we were talking, they actually kept all the tools back yeah, to the tools yes, box. Yes. Alright, I think we're done for this challenge. Well done to Waiting and Simon for completing the task. So Pogi, today we had two very intense challenges. Mm. What is your overall verdict for our two boys? Well, I'm very pleased with both of them. Mm -hmm. Simon did very well, he's very competent. He completed both challenges on time mm -hmm. and delivered his projects. Waiting did just as well. He completed both tasks and very good workmanship, very meticulous in his Work. Now I would say Waiting went through an international competition yes. so I can see that he's very calm and collected yes. something that we really appreciate because he can work under stress Yes, correct. and I think that really shows through I think it's all about practice the more hours that you spend the more you know well crafted that you are so I would say you know if you spend a bit more time and a little bit more you know due diligence to get ready for maybe an international competition I'm very sure you know both of them will be just as equally awesome yes yeah both very good Simon what made you want to choose this course in the past I don't really have a passion or what I want to do in the future I saw this course aerospace and it sounds interesting and challenging to me and as time passed by my Passion grew and this motivated me to study more about aerospace. So waiting, what sparked your interest in aerospace? I'm a very uh, hands-on person and I like aircraft. Mm -hmm. So with these two uh, traits in my mind, I chose aerospace course, particularly aerospace uh, avionics or electronics in short. What brings you satisfaction at the end of a long day? When you see the aircraft you fixed or repair, take off safely, safely of course. 
we have very fine young men indeed. Yes. So today I really hope you learn a thing or two about the aviation industry. So the next time before you board a plane and think about you know your hot meal, think about all the work that goes behind the scene to make sure that you reach your destination safely. So thank you to our boys for rising to the occasion. We're going to present you a special education and career guidance journal and map that will help you chart your way all the way to the high skies. May you continue to soar and excel in all that you do. So thank you Poggy for guiding them through and we're very appreciative of what we learned from you guys today. May you continue to do your very best. My name is Sue Wei. Thank you for watching Skills Challenge. We hope to see you soon.